morning, everybody. My name is Claudine, and it is Make It Monday. My mom is Darlene, and she has Parkinson's. And today, her plan originally was to make a recipe that was sent to us from Patricia and Jacqueline um, called, I think it was Charlie's Candy or something from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, and it was a simple dish, something about uh, marshmallows and then peanuts and then chocolate melted all over the top. And you just sort of, the chocolate, when you pour on the melted chocolate, it's supposed to like melt through and it sounds really delicious. So that um, was mom's plan A. But we didn't have the big marshmallows for that, like just the regular size ones. So I had actually already bought these little multicolored mini marshmallows for a different recipe that I was going to make for um, like just for our family for Christmas, which is the peanut butter marshmallow squares. I know Ivy loves them for sure. So that's what I'm going to make for you today is our peanut butter marshmallow squares. They're also very simple and very easy. And mom said, well, we could use these mini marshmallows for this other recipe. And I said, well, yeah, but it's my only bag and I wanted to make the peanut butter squares. <laughs> so anyway, so this is our version of the Make It Monday for the peanut butter marshmallow squares. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do here the recipe says to take a half cup of butter or margarine, so I'm just going to take one of these little half cup squares. It's uh, nice to make the, take the measuring out of that part of it. And then it also says to add one cup of peanut butter just into our pot here. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to bring this in a little bit here. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, so i got one cup, uh, one generous cup of peanut butter melted in here as well to go into the pot. And then this all melts together in the one pot here. Get every last little bit out of there. Waste not, waste not, right? And then it says to use a 350 gram package, but our packages are like 270 grams. So I actually had like, I don't know, maybe that much of one left over. So I'm gonna use the rest of this package and a brand new package of the butterscotch chippets. The butterscotch and the peanut butter here. So, so delicious. So now I'm just going to turn this on low here. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably about, I don't know, three. We've got a gas stove here, so definitely want to be watching it all the time. It does go a lot faster than my other old stove that wasn't a natural gas stove. Oops, sorry about that. So we're just going to watch this and let it melt until it's all like smooth consistency. Let me just show you right now in a pot. There we go. So yeah, turn it up just a little bit. Maybe it'll start melting a little quicker here for us. But these, uh, I've made this almost every single year. Ivy just loves it. She's going to be excited that I made this recipe. <laughs> and I also pre-buttered a 9 by 13, just a glass um, dish, a glass pan. Just melting all this together. And then after this is all melted together, we just take it to the side, let it just cool for one second because you don't want to put marshmallows into like the boiling mixture. But then after that, um, just mix it together and layer it out in the pan and it cools together, cut it into little squares. It is in our family cookbook that mom just made. It's actually the first time I've used my new cookbook, my, my own copy of our cookbook to look up this recipe for the Christmas baking. There's a few different recipes. Mom and I are trying to dwindle them down as to like which, you know, four we're going to make or something, you know. There's so many good ones for our family. That's really starting to melt together nicely now. It really doesn't take very long. Like I said, this stove is amazing. So efficient. Mm -hmm. So just while that's melting for just a quick second, I'd like to just say thank you to Carol. Everybody will notice my beautiful apron here oh my god there we go carol thank you so much clean vanilla grandma if you want to go check out her channel made mom and i matching aprons so they're cute look at this little like christmas tree and gingerbread type house on them i just love that it's so thoughtful thanks carol very much and uh yeah we haven't worn them together yet mom's in the living room right now but uh i will get a picture of us in them together and include it at the end of the video here so Thank you very much. I love a new apron. I've had the same Christmas apron forever. It's like a red sparkly one, but all the gold little threads are coming off of it now. So this is really melting nicely. Just the last few of the chips are in chunks. 
but yeah, this is one of the easiest Christmas baking recipes. I prefer this type of thing rather than like cookies and whatnot. Some of the cookies, they're so tedious. One at a time and roll into balls and toss in powdered sugar and la da 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 da. <laughs> this is like a 10 minute dessert. Actually, I didn't, I don't know if I showed the time on the stove here, but it's 5.30. So when dad comes out of his room in 10 minutes and says, what's for dinner? I'm just gonna say peanut butter marshmallow squares. <laughs> it's 5.30 PM. And that's what we're making. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. It seems to be melting pretty good here. And I didn't over butter my pan either. I don't want it to like have a butter residue on the outside, but I didn't want it to stick when I cut it either. Okay, this last few little stirs. I don't want it to stick, but these few pots, when we first moved in here, mom accidentally burnt one of my frying pans and so it started with her replacing my frying pan and we really really liked the frying pan that she got because it was this like really nice non-stick stuff here but it's quite heavy but I really liked it so we ended up getting a whole new set of pots and this is them here but yeah they're quite non-stick so I really do like that hmm. there's still just a few little chips that need to melt down here Trying to like press to the bottom of the pan while I stir a little bit. Come on, melt down. We don't want dead air, people. All right, so I'm gonna give that just one more minute to melt down, and then I will come back and mix in the marshmallows with you. Okay, so I went and I got our Christmas whisk, okay? Mom once gave me, um, a gift one time it had a whisk and it had a little Hershey's kiss on the inside of it with a note that said we whisk you a merry Christmas," which I thought was pretty cute but anyway I did get this Christmas colored whisk the last time and that seems to have broken up these little chip bits that are giving me a hard time not wanting to melt but there we go they are all melted through now a little bit of a whisk there and they're all melted nicely okay so I'm going to turn off the heat now just like that. Okay. Open up our marshmallows. Now, like I said, this is like boiling a second ago. I just turned it off, but we don't want to melt these marshmallows. We just want them to like hold together. So we'll just make give this just a moment so it's not so hot. There you go. I don't know, just like stirring this. It's a nice consistency. <laughs> All right, so I'll just let that drip off. We don't want to waste anything on our whisk. Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, so here I'm going to dump in our miniature colored marshmallows into there. And then just sort of fold them around. So they're all totally covered. Oh, yes. Hmm. I wonder if I should throw a few more marshmallows in. I did use quite a healthy cup of peanut butter. No, I think this will be just fine. It'll be nice and chewy this way. Oh yes, look at that. Just delectable. Okay, so let me just move this here for a second. Okay, so into our nine by 13. And the beauty thing of this is there's no oven. Just put it in the fridge to chill for a little bit. microwave there. There we go. Get all that peanut butter goodness off the bottom. Peanut butter and butterscotch, I guess, yeah. Alright. I'll just flatten that out in there. It's going to be a nice deep one. I love that. But because it's deep, you'll just want to cut smaller squares after it's 
cooled down. I mean, you'll probably eat 10 of those smaller squares, at least I will, but you'll feel good because you made them smaller. <laughs> all right, so let's, uh, I'll just bring you back after this is all cooled down and we're cutting it up into squares. All right. All right, so it's all done. I'll just cut a little corner square out here. So delicious. I just love these peanut butter marshmallow squares. Mm. Oh my goodness. Love those. Easy, simple, delicious treat. All right, thanks for joining us for Make It Monday.